Welcome back to our channel. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you are all geared up for another one of our stories. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button for more of our stories. Let's begin! Our story today tells us about how our world splits people into two, the rich and the poor. There is inequality that exists between them. The rich get to enjoy the comforts of material things while the poor struggle hard just to get by. Other people just don't have a choice but to live on the streets, beg for food, and sleep on park benches. Most likely, the poor are discriminated because of their situation. Even though some of them aspire to have a better life for themselves, they are shut out by society. That's how our world has become. Despite how the homeless are perceived in society, some people remain kind and help people regardless of their status and appearance. Our story begins with a woman named Casey Fisher. While she was having coffee at a cafe nearby, she saw a homeless man. He was counting coins that had fallen from his pocket. As the man entered the cafe, his face was met with disappointment and sadness. Casey realized that this was perhaps because his coins weren't enough to buy himself any food to eat. She called the man over and asked if she could buy him a coffee and a sandwich. The man was surprised by her offer and took it because he was so hungry. He was very grateful. After the man got his food, Casey asked if he'd like to join her. Refusing to be impolite, the man agreed and sat with her. Later on, Casey got to know the homeless man, and his name was Chris. Chris shared his story with Casey. Chris had a tough childhood. He told Casey that he never had a good relationship with his family. His father was a violent person and would constantly beat him and his mother. As a child, he could no longer take the beatings and he ran away from home. He thought his situation might change if he was away from his father. However, things weren't looking up as he was living on the streets. He got bullied and beaten up by other kids. No one was ever nice to him. Every time he applied for jobs, he would always get rejected. Despite wanting to have a better life, no one gave him the opportunity to change his life. It made him feel hopeless and he admitted that it led to drug use. Chris never gave up still. He would always apply for jobs, but no one would accept him because of his appearance. No one would really hire a homeless man, right? He said to himself. His appearance scared people from ever approaching him. The only one he had to stay with him without ever judging him was his dog, his only and best friend. But like other good things, it came to an end when his dog recently died. He had no one else to turn to. His mother also passed away because of an illness after he left home. Chris never felt so depressed and alone. When he was done telling his story, Casey tried to hold back tears. She didn't want to offend him with her pity. It wasn't easy for Chris to open up to anyone because he really didn't trust anyone. But he managed to share his story with a stranger whom he barely knew. As much as Casey wanted to talk more, she needed to leave for work. Chris asked if she could wait for a bit. Casey watched as Chris went to the cashier and asked for a pen and a paper. She saw him write something down, and when he was finished, he gave her the note and told her to read it later. Chris apologized for his messy handwriting and thanked Casey for her kindness and generosity. His parting words to her were, Today is a memory I will always remember. Once Casey got out of the cafe, she immediately opened the crumpled piece of paper that Chris gave. She read it and couldn't help but cry. The note said, Today, I wanted to end my life, but thanks to you, I don't want to do it anymore. You gave me so much hope. Thank you, wonderful person. Casey realized that her simple act of paying for his sandwich and coffee saved his life. In return, Chris gave Casey an experience that she will always carry with her, and it would be a lesson to share with others. Casey shared her story on Facebook, hoping it would inspire others to be kind to each other. That is the end of our story today. Casey taught us that there is no harm in being kind to others, regardless of their appearance and status in life. We may not get anything from it, but at least we make another person's day a little better. We might even save someone's life. May we never judge a person based on their physical appearance because deep inside, everyone has their own struggles. By simply being kind, it can have an impact that makes us realize that we are part of something bigger than ourselves. Did you enjoy our story? 
Tell us what you think in the comments below. If you liked our story, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you want more wonderful stories to listen to, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for tuning in and we hope to see you again soon.